So you own your own fire sprinkler system. But what does that mean? What are your responsibilities? Well, you actually have a lot of responsibilities for this life safety system, so let's take a look at them. First, you do have the responsibility of keeping up on your inspection, testing, and maintenance. In most jurisdictions, you must have an annual inspection at minimum. You are also responsible for keeping your system from freezing. This doesn't mean you need to keep a sauna rolling. It means you need to keep your water-based system at 40 degrees. Trust me, you don't want your fire sprinkler system to freeze. You also need to provide accessibility, which means don't pack that fire sprinkler closet with boxes. That is not accessible. Last big one we're going to cover right now, you are responsible for the changes of your building use or occupancy. For instance, a change from an office setting to using the space for storage can change the requirements. Even changing from wood to plastic pallets can change the hazard. So keep in mind, these are your responsibilities. If you ever have any questions about your fire sprinkler assets and ensuring they are being inspected, testing, and maintained, give us a call at Headcount.